Hello and welcome back to Wisdom Discovery, the Enlightenment Zone and Prayer Center. This is part one of a new series called Using Fuel to Know What Time It Is. Fuel, as we know, stands for Freedom Using Enlightenment Light. This video is titled Justice and Judgment Time. There are many people here in our time-space reality and people no longer with us, wondering when God will judge the wicked. Those no longer with us, the Bible says in Revelation 6 and 10, they cried out in a loud voice saying, O Sovereign Lord, holy and true, how long before you sit in judgment and avenge our blood upon those who dwell on earth. Many people may not understand the need for justice and judgment, but those who have felt the pain of affliction from fellow man will understand. Part of my purpose in contending for the Christian faith is to see God's judgment on earth. It's wrong for the wicked to get away with their evil practices, as we must all reap what we sow. The perpetrators of evil do not fear God, nor love God, which is one of the greatest commandments. Folks in heaven may understand affliction better, than people on earth. As we see in Revelation 6 and 10, they are crying out for justice. Most people blame God for the evil in the world and say things like, if God is real and good, why is this evil happening or that evil taking place? Unfortunately, they do not realize that the followers of the devil are the real perpetrators of evil. Apostle Paul said in 1 Timothy 4 and 2 that their conscience, the wicked of the wicked, are seared with as with a branding iron, leaving them incapable of ethical functioning. According to gotquestions.org, the conscience is God giving moral consciousness within each of us Romans 2 and 15 if the conscience is seared it has been rendered insensitive such conscience does not work correctly it's as if spiritual scar tissue has dulled the sense of right and wrong a seared conscience is insensitive and cannot feel the pain it afflicts on others. In the book of Isaiah 26 verse 9b says, For only when God's judgment are experienced on earth will the inhabitants of the world learn righteousness. The verse says only God's judgment will make people change from their wicked and evil ways to learn to do the right thing and reverence God. I can relate to folks in Revelation. The pain is real. The attacks do not stop. As there are too many wicked people and evil people around. Including the synagogue of Satan. I cannot call all religious gatherings the church or the body of Christ. Because their deeds are pure evil. These places are only churches and Christians by name. Our Lord was correct in Revelation 2 and 9 when he called them the synagogue of Satan. I am not one to call out names or to call people out. However, they know who they are. And they know what they have done and continue to do.
how Apostle Paul refers to himself and his fellow workers in the Bible as soldiers. One has no choice but to have the mindset of a warrior and realize that we are in a spiritual war. Thinking aloud for a second, if you consider yourself a Christian and you are not going through a spiritual battle, it would make me wonder about one's Christianity. Remember, you can't eat from two tables, light and darkness. But I guess this is a video for another day. As servants of God and ambassadors of Christ, the Lord uses us to perform his task on earth for the most part. Isaiah 45 and 11 says in the Amplified Classic Version, Thus says the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, and its maker. Would you question me about things to come concerning my children and concerning the work of my hands? Would you command me? Another version reads, the Amplified Version. The first one was the classic, this is the Amplified Version. Ask me about things to come concerning my sons and give me orders concerning the work of my hands. It's not that we command God, but we speak his word and heaven honors the words of God in our mouth. In Jeremiah 1 9 b reads, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. In verse 5b reads, whatever I command you, you shall speak. Jesus said that we have been given all power and authority. Prophet Elijah in the Bible understood this revelation. And the Bible says in James 5 and 17 that Prophet Elijah was a man just like us. He prayed earnestly. The Bible says that Elijah was a man with a nature like ours, with the same physical and mental and spiritual limitations and shortcomings. And he prayed intensely for it not to rain. And it did not rain on earth for three years and six months. Let's define two words, earnestly and intensely. Earnestly means in a serious and determined way. Intensely means very forceful and robust emotions. So as messengers of God, just like prophet Elijah, we must enforce change. As God is waiting, we must be severe, determined, and very forceful. As the kingdom of God suffers spiritual violence, and we take by force. We must demonstrate strong emotions as power is in the emotions. It's time we are firm. It's time that we are firm in our decisions for the world to see the manifestation of the sons of God. The Bible says in Psalms 115 and 16, the heavens are the Lord's, but the earth he has given to the children of men. It seems the church has left the management of the earth to the devil and the kingdom of darkness. The body of Christ with all power and authority given to us by our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ looks and seems very weak. The Antichrist is taking more territory and as followers of Christ we must resist the enemy. And not forget the big picture, which is all about the new, the new Jerusalem, the new heavens and the new earth, which is our destiny. Some judgments of God are done automatically as the spirit realm is polluted from the use of dark magic, just as carbon dioxide is trapped on the earth 
causing climate change, etc. There is equally or even a worse impact and effect on Earth with all those that practice dark magic, witchcraft and sorcery. The insurance companies call adverse weather conditions acts of God. But it's simply the use and the practice of the devil's doctrine backfiring. Hence, it's fair to say that the so-called acts of God are automatic judgments and other judgments must be enforced by us. Just like what Prophet Elijah did by praying for it not to reign in an evil society at the time. Father God, we praise you, Lord, and we bless your name, Father, as we come into your presence in Jesus' name. We cleanse ourselves with the blood of Jesus and pray that you forgive us all of our sins in Jesus' name. We pray for the people of Ukraine, Lord, and their country, and we say, may your will be done. We pray for the world leaders, Lord, and ask that you give them divine wisdom to govern their respective countries and when they humble themselves and ask for your help in Jesus' name. We also pray for leaders, Lord, that contain for the Christian faith, such as the new Italian Prime Minister, Giorgia Meloni. Keep her safe. Pour out your divine wisdom upon her, Father, in Jesus' name. We pray for souls, Lord, to come to your kingdom of light. Soften their hearts, Father, so they don't perish in hell, in Jesus' name. Father God, your word says that the battle belongs to you. And at the same time, your word says that you train our hands for battle and our fingers for war in Psalms 144 verse 1. Help us, Father, to fight the good fight of faith and to be strong in you, Lord, and in the power of your might. I declare, I declare judgment and justice on the wicked who have afflicted the innocent, especially your children. I decree and I declare every virtue Blessing, glory, light, star, stolen, transferred from your children is returned now sevenfold in Jesus' name. I decree and I declare and I forbid people to steal, transfer and use other people's glory, virtue, star and light and blessing in Jesus' name. People currently using other people's glory virtue, light and star, whatever they are using it for, fails completely in Jesus' name. Father, I now release your blessing on your children in these challenging times, reminding them that you are their source and that all the gold and silver belongs to you, Father God. You are the same God who used two fish and five loaves to feed 5,000 people. And you don't change. Open our eyes to the supernatural, Father, in Jesus' name. Help your people to have confidence that you supply their needs according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name. Father, I decree and I declare those listening and watching this video, you keep them safe and put a shield of protection around them in Jesus' name. 
for those in need of healing. I release healing virtues over them right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. God bless.